Yeah. Uh, they also have him calling the brothers a little bit before the attack and a little bit after the attack. Okay, yeah. so it's, come on, there's two elements of the story. One is what happened, and then two is the...
I already didn't know about it. What are you talking about? Of course she knows about you. I well, know, it's just that when you left, it seemed like all you wanted to do.
Well, friends, it looks like Linus is going rogue. He's taking down other people's YouTube channels. I mean, even one channel by itself got seven copyright claims by Linus. I, I can only imagine that it's because of profound ignorance of how technology works, which is a problem for hobbyists and enthusiasts in this business, or it's a poor, very poor way of establishing anti-competitive business practices, or he's a guy who has no control of what his employees or partners are doing. Either way, it's not acceptable. Listen, I don't know Linus. I don't know what he's capable of. I don't know if this is a machine or something else. I just think it's people and just stupid people. And I think it's quite possible that it's a plan to eliminate an up-and-coming YouTuber in the same arena. It looked So I was sick for two days, and YouTube and the internet implodes. Because of a fraud. Skip it up and down. So yes, I was sick for two days. Um, I was on the toilet for most of it, and I'll leave it there. I, I'm sorry I even said that to give you that visual. So what do you mean, Rich? How did the internet implode? Well, if you didn't see Keemstar's video, um, someone on the internet named Matt is what it is made a video showing how there are children's videos out there and the, and the videos themselves okay are honestly innocent videos of like little girls doing cartwheels and eating ice pops and, and doing dances and so on and so forth just like g-rated stuff that they're uploading with no other intention okay and there's people in the comments who I will mention later um, who are the scum of the earth, who are time coding the videos, or maybe the girl's in a questionable position, or she's licking the ice pop, and you get the hint. And this guy, bad is what it is, um, made a video it, it's talking about that, which, yes, is disgusting. These people that are doing this and going to these videos to for their devious reasons are horrible people who... I'll leave it there if I give my true opinion on them. This video will probably be taken down. They're disgusting people, okay? And YouTube, at least according to Keemstar, and even in the past they've said it, YouTube tries to catch up with this crap that's going on because people are always, people try to find exploits of YouTube's algorithm and their system. YouTube tries to cut, like, close up that loophole. They find another loophole, they close it up. It's almost like YouTube's like antivirus software and these people are the making the viruses and YouTube has to keep like catch up with them, okay? And they are. 
okay, YouTube has made mistakes before, and I've called them out on their mistakes, but with how many people are on YouTube and how much content's uploaded to YouTube, there's no way they can keep track of everything. It's impossible. And now due to Matt is what it is, is YouTube video, which is titled YouTube is facilitating the blank exploitation of children and it's being monetized. We now have advertisers pulling we have Epic Games pulling their Fortnite ads. You have Nestle pulling their ads. You have Disney pulling their ads because they think that YouTube is just straight up facilitating this, which according to Keemstar and actions I've seen in the past, they're not. But again, this is how YouTube is in 2019 and 2018 and 2017. But as I got into the office today and I looked into this story and because for some reason I'm blocked by Keemstar on Twitter again, even though honestly the past couple days I was more on the toilet than I was on Twitter, so I probably wouldn't have seen his tweet anyway. I didn't know what was going on, but I, I looked into this guy, and everything about him didn't make sense, okay? Matt is what it is, his YouTube channel has only vid a couple few videos, and they're regarding this. His Twitter is brand new, only with a couple tweets, and I'm like, what the hell? So everyone kept on recommending me to watch Keemstar's video, and I did. And I looked into everything he said in there, and Keemstar is on point. Even though he has me blocked again, and I know he despises me, he did some good work here, and this guy, Matt is what it is, is a... Uh, ten things you probably didn't know about prehistoric Europe. I watch a lot of these uh, I guess it's top ten. No, he also has another uh, history uh, he has more than one channel that I watch. I watch the other stuff more I think. I watch the history guys things too a lot. <coughs> ketchup or ketchup. <clears throat> I think that's what I have here is a G502. No, 602. What's up, guys? I'm Random Frank P. And today I have a video on a gaming mouse that might just dethrone the G502. Today we're going to be talking about the Cooler Master MM830. So today we're going to go over it all for you guys, talk about my experience and stuff with it, to see if this could deviate me from the G502, which has been my go-to mouse for four plus years now. So obviously if I'm doing some comparison to that during this video, you know why. But let's check it out. Alright, so taking a look at the MM830, it does have eight programmable buttons total. On the left side, you have a thumb rest with this kind of discreetly integrated D-pad here. There's also a rubber texture on that side just to add to the grip overall. Uh, towards the front side of the mouse, you have this tiny OLED screen, but we'll go over this stuff in more detail in a minute. In the left and right clicks, it uses Omron switches rated at 20 million clicks 
So I'll do a little sound test now so you can hear it. Now as for the shape of this mouse, I think it's best used for someone who does a claw or a palm grip. However, obviously everyone's different, everyone's hand size is going to be different. Uh, but it is slightly wider than the G502, which I think, for me at least, is more comfortable, because it's more natural to hold, and it causes less strain on my pinky finger, which I do sometimes get from the G502 because it's a thinner body. Now as for the weight, it's essentially the same. This is 122 grams for the body, and G502 is 121. It's only got three customer reviews. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, Hossapod or whatever it is. I've, uh, they're, uh, over the years, I've bought three. I still have one. Three of their uh, video, <clears throat> video cards for picking up over the air television before it went digital. And, uh, Win TV, dual HD, USB 2.0, HD TV tuner. Simply plug this into your USB port on your Windows computer. Simply plug this into a <coughs> port on your Windows computer. TV recording formats. Transport stream the original transmitted format without any quality loss. Dual TV tuner allows you to watch one channel while recording another picture in picture or having two complete windows open simultaneously. Includes the Win TV Dual HD USB 2.0 TV tuner, portable TV antenna credit card size remote download win tv v8 application okay so this is for over the air tv let's see So they're still in the business of making here in the United States we have digital over the air television now. I think Canada probably still uses their old system of uh, analog over the air. I'm not sure. I guess somebody up in, I wonder, somebody like up on Canadian border, I wonder if they would have if they could pick up Canadian TV. Well, I guess they could have had an analog television if, if Canada is still using analog. Now, if you live in an area where you can't currently receive ATSC digital TV, the Win TV HBR 955Q can still be used to watch and record clear QAM or analog TV.
from cable TV or TV antenna, but you're prepared for the future, ATSC, digital TV, when it comes to you. Well, I think we've all got, that's all we have, I think. When was this? I think that's all we have now is digital over the air in the United States. Problem is with uh, digital over the air for where we are in West Fort Worth is there's a few stations we don't get and it seems like the ones we don't get because, well because we don't have a good enough antenna outside but the ones we can't two or three ones we can't get are the ones we uh, we want get a lot of <coughs> Vietnamese stations Spanish stations religious stations so. Anyway, <sighs> wonder why it's only th showing three of three items. But anyway, let's see here: payment history. On my videos here, when you see a link underneath, a lot of times it's a uh, uh, a link that if you click on it and purchase that item, I get a commission from Amazon. This month I'll get uh, to about the end of the month. Not won't be very long because this is a only twenty eight days in this month. I'll be getting forty five dollars and ninety eight cents for this month. But as you can see, it's unusual that for me to get, you know, that's a lot of money. A lot of these months I get just a, you know, a little bit of money. But please do use that link. And two, if you use the, uh, let's see, where is that? Let's see if I go here. I don't even know where it is. Good. Well, any of my videos. <clears throat> Let's go to. Um, to go to this one from ten months it ago. It is uh, Sunday, the twenty fifth. So underneath here, if you click on this Amazon store. So, you know, it's Amazon.com slash shop slash HNBBS. If you go there now, you know, you might look at some of the stuff that I've grouped together here. Um, but when you go here, now if you decide to go buy uh, anything else, I will get a, the commission on that. So if, please, if you're going to buy uh, something that's expensive, uh, a big screen TV. You know, anything, especially if it's something expensive. Projectors. Uh, we have two Roku TVs here, by the way. I think this one is the one that um, my ex-wife has in the other room. I'm not sure. Well, I could find out. And then I have a smaller Roku TV, which I don't even have hooked up. <clears throat> I don't watch much TV. I do watch, you know, some net occasionally Netflix. Netflix like videos and stuff. Let's see orders. Let's see. Whoops, man. My fingers in the wrong place. Search orders. Okay. 
So we bought a Roku Roku TV in uh, November 25th of 2015, and it was a 28-inch, because that's the one I have. And then we bought one. This was for my ex-wife, October 25th of 2016, and it was a 48 inch. And then in October of 2018, we bought a, uh, or she did, she paid for it, 55 inch Roku TV for her. But you know, if, uh, especially if you're going to, anyway, try to use my link. I could use the money. I'm such a, a partier, you know, drinking and boozing and chasing women and everything uh, that I, I need the money. Right? So, what did I come here for? What did I want to, oh, I wanted to sh show you the list. I've got several lists set up, sh set up, but I got one list that I put stuff on that I want to remember and possibly have. I'm interested in this HP Chromebook X360. And like I said the other day, I, I had years ago, I got an HP, or not, I got a, I forget what, what, I got a Chrome box, Chromebook. I have a Chrome box here too, which I'm not using. But I got a Chromebook. I didn't like it. I don't like laptops, in fact. But this looks, looks interesting, $260. And, yeah. I do have a, I think it's a 34 inch. I have a LG wide monitor. You've seen it, and I've talked about it before. That is great. But right now, today, I'm using two Asus 1080 side-by-side -side monitors. But I do like that wide monitor, and I can have one monitor. And uh, I put this on here. I don't plan. I, I don't think I'm going to buy this 10 meter, 12 meter handband. I'm also not. I, don't, I just have a technician's class license right now, so I would have to pass my general class. I am going to buy a couple of these Amazon uh, smart switches. Uh, oops. Because in here I have two lights. They're both on right now, and it would be convenient for me to have them plugged in, and then I could use voice command to... Uh, Turn them on or off. Uh, let's see. Back to the list. Now I had the uh, alligator, or that's probably I had their uh, camera. I gave it to my grandson to use. He was over here to help me with my computer. He, he gave me a video card. He came over and put it in. And then he had to put a, a power supply that he had, he gave me, and put it in there in order to power the... Uh, and then I, I gave him, tried to give him a couple items, gave him a couple items and everything. And he said, uh, I said, anything you want? And he said, well, yeah, I'd like to have. And I had one of them that I wasn't using, the, the camera and uh, gave it to him. But uh, this thing here is kind of expensive for what it does, but it would be really neat for, uh, you know, hook it up and then I could just, you can change these, uh, what shows in these things. So I'd be able to sit here and just hit and pull up a sound or pull up a video or pull up a, uh, camera or just do all that kind of stuff just from that'd be pretty neat but it's a little expensive for that because I, you don't I don't need to do that but uh, 
Okay, I don't need this because I bought a different one here. I do need this for my G8 camera. I think it's G8, Panasonic G8. Comes with a, uh, what is it? I forget what the millimeter is. It's almost zero, you know, zoom capability. Uh, and I, I got it uh, because it was perfect for uh, using that did Panasonic digital camera to uh, do uh, selfies or well not selfies but to do a video like I'm doing now but these uh, Logitech USB webcams are excellent so uh, So I could use this uh, 45 to 150 lens. Software displayed radio. That's really interesting. If you, uh, I'll be getting one of these one of these days. I had one that I, I bought a really inexpensive one that didn't work all that great. So this is <clears throat> this one should work great, but $300. I'm thinking about one of these mouse, it's a big, it's uh, what, 35 inches, I believe, mouse pads. I had an FZ80, the older model, and I sold it. I shouldn't have, I should have kept, now this is a new model, with does it does 4K. Anyway, it has a 60x zoom. The zoom on this camera, on that camera, is unbelievable. <clears throat> but I hardly ever get out to go anywhere. But still, it's a fantastic zoom. And this here, I have the older version, the FZ 200. I have the older version, the FZ 200. This is the FZ 300. I can't justify, you know. Moving up to the FZ 300. I have an LX7, and there again, I can't justify moving up to the LX7 or to the LX10. And the LX7 is fantastic camera. Pocket, you know, drop it in my pocket and take it. I would like to have a Panasonic LX100. Pretty neat camera, but I cannot afford six hundred dollars for it. Unless you people uh, buy a whole bunch of stuff using my Amazon link. But I've watched a bunch of videos on it and everything, and it's a really great camera. So if I you know, if I got this, I would get rid of the, you know, LX7 camera, and I wouldn't get an LX10, or, you know, this would be my go-to camera, and my G7, but I need to get a that lens that I told you about for the G7. Let's see, what else? Keeps jumping to the top when I, let's see. Ouch. Apple iPro. I thought they had... They came out with a new... They, their normal price is, what, $800? And then they came out... Didn't they come out with a one that was $400? And I would like to have... I've never had an Apple computer. I would like to have it. I, I mentioned several times that I... Like I saw one a medical student... A YouTube video that he made where he was showing how he used it, you know, and using the pen and what have you. Oh, fantastic. Uh, I cannot, I'm not spending $650. So is this the, maybe I bookmarked the, uh, okay. Be nice to have Wi-Fi and cellular, but I don't even want to know what the price of that is. Okay, here's comparing Apple products, iPad products. 
Uh, let's see. No, they don't give the price. The pro, FI price, you know, pro. So that's this one up here, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I think they have one for 400 but Then I'd need to spend a pro, pro. But then I'd need, I'd need to spend $100 for the uh, pen because I definitely would want the pen. Okay. to check out that uh, oh hub I'm not sure this is the same batteries that I are batteries I mean uh, magnets that I bought but I've got them on my bulletin board, whiteboard or whatever. Uh, man, they are powerful. Okay, they don't know when this computer is going to be back. Oh, up. I don't know whether to do some work around here or go to bed. Oh, let's see. Nope, not time yet to take mail over to the mailbox. So. How long have I been? Awesome. Now again, look, guys, this means that YouTubers are going to suffer, unfortunately. But that, like, the only way to get YouTube to do something about this is to hit them where it hurts. And, and that's in their wallet. See this guy here? This man's name is Matt Watson, and he really wants YouTube, and by extension, every creator on YouTube, to stop getting a- Morrowind. Oblivion. Fallout 3. Skyrim. Fall You beautiful bastards, hope you had a fantastic Wednesday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. And just a quick note before we get started, I just want to say yes. Yesterday I saw a lot of you messaging us saying that you weren't getting notifications. Some of you didn't even get us in the sub box, and that's ranging on some of the videos we put out. There was a show. I don't know what the issue is. We reached out. But uh, yeah, just remember that pretty much every day you can come back and there's going to be a new video every single weekday. Hopefully uh, that didn't happen because of the content of that video, because that also means that today's video 
uh, would get hit as well. But uh, with that said, let's just jump into it. The first thing we're going to talk about today in super happy fun time news is anxiety and depression. The reason we're talking about this today isn't because I'm going to bear my soul to you, bring you into my heart of hearts, and let you know the secret struggles I deal with, although we all really do have those. It's because, according to a new study from the Pew Research Center, it is a massive, massive issue with young people. Late last year, they surveyed U.S. teenagers, specifically 13 to 17 year olds. Let's see, two days ago, one day ago, 15 hours ago, Sup, you beautiful bastards? Hope you've had a fantastic Friday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. And if you're new here on Fridays, we do things a little bit different. On Fridays, I try to cover more viewer-requested stories from the week. And this week, in fact, because we have now developed time travel technology, including stories that were cut for time this week, either because the videos themselves were already too long, or they were going to make us just extremely late. But with that said, let's just jump into it. And the first thing we're going to talk about today is the, the story about how I have finally accomplished something my son did before me. I have finally become a meme. My son was on a roller coaster. Poster when he was young, he was a meme. I shared a photo of my cousin at a wedding. She became a massive meme. And finally, after saying it for 10 damn years, let's just jump into it as we become a meme. And there's a range. Let's experience it together. Any character fully charged smash attack me? Let's just jump into it. Puddle exists. My kids? Let's just jump into it. On roof with friend me? Let's just jump. Wow, that got, that got, that, ooh, that got dark fast. For those of you that put my dumb face on new avenues on the internet, Thank you, but also now that I've acknowledged it, I imagine it will die. Just as when I ask people to stop calling me daddy, uh, that definitely stopped everyone. Or maybe I'm saying all of this so that you think that I want it and then you don't do it. Or is that what I want? It's all very confusing. I don't even know the actual answer anymore. There we go. Like I said, as viewer requested, it is for better and worse. <laughs> Moving on. And then, of course, let's talk about updates around the situation that we've been dealing with on YouTube this week. And kind of a TLDR, and keep in mind this is just very on the surface level and not the deep dives that we did before. If you want to see that, I'll link to those videos down below. But kind of a TLDR to bring you to this moment. Earlier this week, there was a video that blew up where it showed that you know if, if you search certain things you could end up into this wormhole where all of a sudden you're getting videos of young children doing gymnastics and then if you went to the comment section it was just horrible just monstrous comments about the kids people seemingly preying on them sharing time codes of the children in like vulnerable positions it was a horrible thing to see but if you've been on youtube for a while you know that youtube has been trying to combat this but seemingly rather than just trying to get the word out that this is happening reporting these comments to youtube which youtube has been combating the person who made the video that blew up as well as in a small community around him just started spamming advertisers that may have had their ads put on videos that, once again, most of these videos were fine. It was the comment section that was horrible. So brands did what brands do. They got extremely panicky. All of a sudden, people were pulling their ad campaigns, pausing them. And while all of this was happening, YouTube jumped into action. If you didn't see, they told us, quote, in the last 48 hours beyond our normal protections, we've disabled comments on tens of millions of videos. We've also terminated over 400 channels for the comments they left on videos and reported illegal comments to law enforcement. Right, so as we discussed, YouTube takes this very seriously. They've been developing. Okay. Okay, it looks like this has been going on for 51 minutes, so, and it is almost 8 o'clock. Oh, wait a minute, today is Saturday, isn't it? Okay, the office doesn't. I can't take the mail for a while. I'm going to take a nap here. So I want to uh, thank you very much for watching. And I tried a while ago, an hour, a couple hours ago, to make a to live stream again. And I couldn't live stream the desktop. I could live stream the camera. I couldn't do the desktop. I know, I know, I know. OBS, you're telling me all to use OBS. And uh, I'm not. I may have to. But, uh, so anyway, I made this video. I'm going to upload this. And uh, going to take a nap. And then I'm not sure what I'll come back and do. 
but thank you very much for watching.